Hello, hello. So we're ready in the part two series of our equity tutorial. In this video, I'm going to teach you how you can utilize the different materials of equity calendar. All right. So we will discuss these sections over here called client scheduling page. And by the way, if you don't know how equity works, I highly suggest that you check my part one series in this. I'm going to put the link description below. And if you don't have an equity yet, then use my link below as well to get a free trial, no credit card involved. Are you looking for a affordable way to outsource your tasks? Better check out Fiverr. I'm going to put the link below so you can have the free credits. So what is Fiverr? Basically, Fiverr allows you to outsource your tasks for as low as $5 per month. There's a lot of contractors there that offer a lot of services that can be really helpful for your business. Anyway, let's get back to the tutorial. So anyway, let's get back to the topic. So. Under here in the client scheduling page, you have this scheduling page link and the customized appearance. So let's start first on the first section called scheduling page link. So let's start at the top one. So general scheduling page is your default link. So when you say general, you can see all of your appointments in this link. You can also change this one, your preferred name. So let's Simply click this change link name and use your preferred name. All right. Now, other people don't want to just have this, like this link, but this basically, this is the def default one. So other people don't like this because the, like how the layout looks like is so basic. And at the same time as well, when you check this domain thing here, it's not linked to their official domain maybe so it is linked to the equity domain right so again so if you want this to be linked on your website then instead of using this linked itself like this default linked you can use this second options here called direct links and embedding so this direct links and embedding has a different materials so different ways for you to embed or configure your calendar into your website all right so direct link is something like this okay and it's, it's similar with this one okay so and then the other one is embed scheduler booking booking bar and client app client app is a qr code thing so anyway, let's start first with this drop down again on the general link. So if you click this general link, let me just dive in, in here. So that one, so in the general link, it's still the same, sorry. So in the general link, do you have different types of appointments in your, your equity? Like for example, this one has a breakthrough session and it also have a JV and affiliates. So as I said, you will see all of your appointment types into the general link. Now, what if you just want to see, you just want to get the breakthrough session visible. So instead of using the general scheduling link, you can set a specific breakthrough session, right? Now, again, if you want just a direct link, then it will be just a this one. So as you can see here, the JV or the other appointment type is not is no longer visible. All right. Now, as I said, what if I don't want to use this default link from Acuity? So if that's the case, instead of using the direct link, you can use the embed scheduler. So embed scheduler is something similar with YouTube where you, if you embed your, your YouTube videos into your website, it will appear or it will be embedded. Okay. So you just need to copy this iframe. So as long as your website supports HTML, this one would work. So I'm going to copy this one, for example, and then I'll put it here and let's just put a test here and then save. And I want it to be like blocked save so anyway so preview test and as you can see here 
um, the page is embedded already into my website. So, and if you check the appointment, what you can only see is the breakthrough session. If you want to see all of your, again, your appointment types, you can check the general appointments page. All right. General appointment page, and then I'll put it here. Let's just make this one sidebar, perhaps. So as you can see here, like this one is already tied up to my website. Let's just turn off that. Now, booking button is still similar with the embed scheduler. However, the design will look like like a button. And then if you click that, it kind of look like on click pop up. So anyway, let me just show with you so you can understand what I'm trying to say in here. So save that and then save and um, let's see. So the button will be looks like this. So if you click the schedule appointment, it will looks like this one. Okay, there will be kind of problem with with the like header in case because button is a secondary or or an external site. So what you can do is you can you can have important into the Z index. If that doesn't work, then I re recommend to just remove the heading or the heading of your website and then come up with another inline heading or a custom heading for that one. Let me know if you want me to come up with another series for that or you need help. You can leave me a, a message on my social media or email me. So that's how the button works. Now let's dive in with the booking bar. So I'm going to copy this. So booking bar is look like a floating thing. So I'll show you how that works. So let's save that. So if you can see here, let's just preview this one with just a vis visitor's type only. Let me save this one. I'll make this one public maybe. Let's publish that. Because like the the, the pop-up is hidden because of this navigation thing. But it, it will not look like that in a visitor's perspective. So let's just see that. So yeah, this is the like the how do you call this one? It's called booking bar. Click this one, that will pop up like this. And this is the embed. Now, booking bar could be perfect for homepage. Booking button can be perfect perfect for your hero banners. Like for this example, um, I have this website here, and yeah. So anyway, this one is not for my. It's not my booking site, but I'm probably gonna use Acuity for my booking. So booking bar, we're ready to done with that. Now booking client. Booking client is you need to download this or uh, this image for them to to use it as a QR code. Now this is super very handy for those who preferred mobile booking. So I recommend this one to put on the footer area of your website. So that's how it works for that. Now, if you notice if this part, why, why this is scheduling thing, she has two types of appointment set up here, but this other appointment type is not visible in the, in the default scheduling page. Now, what happened in that is she set this up as private. Let's dive into the customized appearance. For the customized appearance, you can come up with a different styling in here. You can also change your business name and add your logo and add some few instructions as well. And like, when do you want the week start? And then for this scheduling page section, if you want to set, if you want to make this, this other information here enable, like, if you want to disable client login and registration, you need to check that. However, I don't want that. I also don't want to hide a duration. So simply check the mark if you want to enable or disable it. Okay. And in the advanced CSS part, this one needs to be at least you are using a powerhouse plan. But, but basically what you can do in here is you can set up a code, a CSS code. So for example, this number one thing here like this part if you want this to be color red 
then that is possible but you need to be a powerhouse plan that on that part and you can come up with something like this like how do you call that like step background and then red and then you need to paste this one in here but since you're not using this account is not using a powerhouse plan it's just not it is disabled on my end like i cannot put a css code <laughs>